What's good, guys? Fancy Joe back here in our fantasy football profile. Today, we are talking Seattle Seahawks wide receiver Tyler Lockett. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button. I have tons of fantasy profiles on the channel. We've got league winners up there. Uh, tons of in-season content headed your way as well. You're going to stick tuned here. Get those waiver wire guys before the rest of the people in your league do. Make those right start sit decisions throughout the season, win your league, and it's as easy as hitting that sub button. So just hit that button, uh, hit that like button, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. How many fantasy analysts out there will answer all your questions? I will. Stick around. We'll have a good time. Let's talk Tyler Lockett. All right, Tyler Lockett. So he was a wide receiver 9 in 2020, and he did that on 132 targets, which he turned into 100 receptions for 1,054 yards and 10 receiving touchdowns. Was fantastic for fantasy. Obviously slowed down the second half of the year if you had him. Uh, you know what that felt like. He wasn't great over that second half. But I think that is more an issue of, you know, Russ was awful that second half of the season too. Historically bad, honestly. The whole offense was uh, I think it was, you know, people were starting to figure them out and they were having to, you know, basically just throw the ball uh, because their defense was so bad. Um, I believe this year, you know, the Seahawks are, you know, everyone's worried because they're not going to let Russ cook. But here's my thing. I think Russ is still going to be handing out some portions. <laughs> he had, so if we look back at 2019 when he was the wide receiver 14, he did that on 110 targets for 82 receptions for 1,057 yards and 8 touchdowns. Also, that was not a year where they were letting Russ cook. This was that run-first approach where they were, you know, targeting that as their uh, game plan, really. They were really, you know, still basically having Russ be more of that game manager role. He was still a star, you know, throwing 30-plus touchdowns every year, and he's still going to be a star in this new offense where they're, you know, emphasizing the run game. But with this up-tempo attack that their offensive coordinator, their new offensive coordinator, Shane Waldron, has been talking about, they're going to get more plays. That means more targets for Tyler Lockett. Uh, I think he's going to be just fine. He's always been a highly efficient wide receiver, never a, you know, a super big volume guy. So I still think he's going to be perfectly fine for fantasy, and right now he's going in the fifth round. That's unbelievable value. I'd love to draft him late fourth, early fifth, all day. Uh, getting him as your second receiver, I'd feel really, really good about that if that was how my team was set up. I think he's a guy who has wide receiver up one upside still. With Russell Wilson, he's just so efficient, and he gives those deep targets. You know, not every target is created equal. He's getting more downfield targets, and him and Russ has had that mind meld connection where they can just insanely efficient. I think that's because Russ is so good. He's an elite quarterback. Tyler Lockett's a very good receiver, too. Uh, I'm definitely buying into this guy for 2021. My stat prediction for him, I have him predicted for 85-plus receptions, 1,000-plus yards, and 8 touchdowns. If you guys have made it to this point in the video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. This is Fancy Joe.